So in this course, I am going to talk about and introduce Windows 11 and some of the different versions of Windows 11 that you can use. And then I'm going to show you how to do some proper configuration and maintenance of the Windows 11 operating system. So let's go ahead and let's jump right on over to the slides. As I said, this is a Windows 11 first look. And for all of you that are new to Stormwind Studios or don't know who I am, my name is William Panic. I am a senior instructor here at Stormwind Studios. I have been certified and in the industry for over 30 years. I got my first certification with Microsoft in NT351. During that time, I have worked as an IT member, as an IT admin, as an IT director. At the same time, I also did contract training at night and did some contract work training all over the country. I am a five-time Microsoft Worldwide MVP winner. This is an award that Microsoft gives out to people who excel in certain parts of the industry. And all five of my awards were in the networking and security side of Microsoft. And I'm the same Will Panic that writes all of the Cybex study guides uh, over the last roughly 18, 19 years. So if you've read a Cybex study guide in the last, let's say, 18 years on a Microsoft certification, there's a good possibility that it was one of my books. So in this course, I am going to talk about some of the different versions of Windows 11 that you can use and some of the ways that you can easily configure and move around the Windows 11 operating system. So we're going to start with introduction to Windows 11. And we're going to talk about some of the different Windows 11 versions that you can choose from. Now, one of the Windows 11 versions that is kind of rolled out, I would say probably the quickest, is Windows 11 Home. This is the first version that Microsoft talked about releasing on Windows 11. It was the one that most people, it, if they were running Windows 10 Home, as long as their system could support it, you could upgrade to the Windows 11 Home version. Now, when Microsoft first announced that they were going to be going into Windows 11, that surprised a lot of us because a lot of you probably remember years ago when Microsoft released Windows 10, they made an announcement that this was going to be the last Windows client operating system and that they were just going to be releasing new versions of Windows 10. So for a lot of us, it came as kind of a surprise that Microsoft announced that they would be putting out Windows 11. And during the actual Windows 11 rollout, I watched the live presentation and pretty much it primarily focused on Windows 11 Home. And at the time that they did the rollout, we weren't even sure if they were going to be putting out any corporate versions of Windows 11. And Windows 11 Home has a lot of great features for people who want better graphics, gaming capabilities, and it, just an easier, more or less almost like a tablet style operating system. Well, then Microsoft made an announcement and released Windows 11 Pro Education Enterprise. And these are more or less your corporate versions and your, for example, the education version for colleges and universities. Now, there is a big difference between the home version and the corporate or even the educational versions. Windows 11 Home cannot be added to a domain. But Windows 11 Pro or Enterprise or Education, it can be added to a domain. So with them putting out a corporate version of Windows 11, it now allows us to add that Windows 11 operating system 
to our on-site domain. Or if you're also going with the cloud, with Azure or even in a hybrid situation. So Windows 11 Home is just that. It's for your home user. It's for better graphics, better gaming. Now, <coughs> excuse me, the corporate versions also give you the better graphics, give you so that you can do better things with presentations, PowerPoint. And those are the versions that you want to use if you're going to be dealing with a a machine that you want to put into your on-site network. And the versions that we have is we have Windows 11 Pro. And again, if you have Windows 10 Pro, you can upgrade right to the Windows 11 Pro. You have Pro Education, which is, again, more for an edu education environment, such as like a college or a university. You have Windows 11 Pro for Workstation. Then you have Windows 11 Enterprise. Now, the real difference between Enterprise and Pro is Enterprise gives you a lot more utilities, more tools. You have Windows 11 Education. Windows 11 Education is kind of the enterprise version of education. And again, it's meant for people in colleges and universities. It's almost the exact same version as Windows 11 Enterprise. The only difference is for people who are in a university setting, you can get it for a discounted price since you're in school. So it works out real well for college students. And, and then you have Windows 11 Mixed Reality. Now, Mixed Reality, believe it or not, is a reality-based version of Windows. So what it allows you to do is it allows you to quickly and easily pair any type of reality motion controllers to the Windows 11 system. So for all of you gamers that really want to get the most out of Windows 11 and gaming, Windows 11 Mixed Reality is a good way to go because, again, if you have the... Um, the 3D and the reality systems, you can go ahead and easily connect them right into this version of Windows 11. Now, Windows 11 has a lot of advantages compared to what we had with Windows 10. One of the things that it has done for us is it's given almost like a new Mac-like interface. And here's copy of Windows 11 that we're going to be showing in this course. As you can see, a lot of it is the same. If you've used Windows 10 over the last few years, it's not going to be that big of a transition. So it has a little bit different of a background. You can still go back to the normal Windows background that you're used to with the window, the blue window in the back. And one of the major things that you'll see is that They've moved around the taskbar, and but we'll talk about that in a couple moments when we dive into the actual desktop. But this is a version that I'm showing of Windows 11 Pro. So this is exactly what it looks like. So it gives you a little bit more of a Mac-like feel for everybody that is more of a Apple user. Windows 11 also gives you the ability to automatically integrate Android apps right into the Windows 11 system. Now, it doesn't do the same with Apple, but if you have an Android phone, you can even link your Android phone right up into the Windows 11 uh, operating system, and it has all kinds of applications that run the same as on your phone, can run right inside Windows 11. It gives you the ability to have widgets. Now, a lot of you might remember the uh, little widgets that they used to put out on some of the previous versions. It basically allows you to customize what you want to see, how you want to see things come up on your screen. It also comes with Microsoft Teams already built right into Windows 11, and it's integrated right in with Windows 11. It gives you the ability to actually work with 
Xbox. And it gives you a lot of features so that you can quickly and easily connect an Xbox for Windows 11 and Xbox so that you can have better gaming capabilities. Now, one of the funny things about the Xbox is for a lot of you that have been running Windows 10 over the last few years, if you've gone out to a lot of your settings in Windows 10, and even I'm talking about on the corporate versions, Xbox was integrated in with the Windows 10 corporate versions. Now, personally, there's people out there that probably can see an advantage to having some type of Xbox capabilities in a corporate version. I am not part of that camp. I don't believe that. You know, most of us are literally going to stop watching this class and then go jump on our Xbox while we're at work. So, but it does give you the capabilities where if you want to tie the Xbox in with the Windows 11 operating system, you can. And I'll show you a little bit later on when we dive into the settings where you can go in and set some of that. It gives you better virtual desktop support. So this way, if you want to set up a virtual desktop, and allow Windows 11 to more or less be a, I don't want to say like a, a completely dummy system, but you can actually use virtualization. You can connect into a server environment where you can run all of the remote apps on a server. And Windows 11 more or less will just allow you to connect and run all of those applications from a server or from the cloud, however you want to set it up. And one nice feature, now this is one of the really nice features of Windows 11 in a corporate version, is that it gives you much easier transitions and allows you to set up multiple monitors so that a lot of us today are using laptops, tablets, it makes it much easier so that we can connect to multiple monitors for better multitasking. And a perfect example of that is here in my studio. I have multiple monitors set up so that I can actually see different views. I can actually connect into different parts of the Windows operating systems. So this is an actual nice feature, especially for a lot of you at work. If you like to keep your email open, if you like to work on other applications while you have other things up and running, you can easily separate them, put them on separate monitors so that while you're working on one project, you can kind of keep an eye on other things that are running. 